Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video I'm going to be um, looking at some products that I have really kindly been sent by the company Everyday Deals. Um, I will leave their website information down below in the video description for you so you can check them out. Um, but they really kindly contacted me and gave me the opportunity to share some of their products here with you on the channel. So we have some diamond paintings and some cross stitch kits. So I am so excited to share these with you. Now I have gone ahead and um, opened the packaging already on this one and a couple of the um, bags here inside just to minimise the crinkling um, because I know that that can be quite distracting. Um, so what I am going to do is remove them from the bag that they were sent in and then we will take a look at them one by one. I will be right back. Okay, so first we're going to have a look at the diamond painting kits. Like I said, I have gone ahead and opened the the packaging sort of here with a pair of scissors so just to minimize that on screen so I did have the opportunity to um, to choose what was sent to me so again um, to the lovely Bella who has been my contact for the company a great big thank you so much I really really do appreciate it so this is the first diamond painting So let's open this up. Okay. So here is the the canvas, and it is a thirty by forty centimeter, and it is these gorgeous. I don't know if you can. See that let me zoom out a little bit please excuse my cup of coffee <laughs> so it is these gorgeous frogs look at that absolutely beautiful now I am going to have to try and flatten out the canvas before I work on it but that's not proper but look at that I just thought the colours and the design was so beautiful. I love the blues and the greens and turquoises on here. I just think it's so pretty. So there's the canvas. We've got our colour key up here on the left hand side and down here on the right. It feels really, really sticky, which is great. So that's the canvas. And then we have sort of the, the bulk standard basic kit here. So let me zoom you back in. So we have our um, little green boat here, a square of wax and our drill pen and then here in this package is where we have all of our baggies with the drills in so please excuse the okay okay so let's just grab a handful so the colours all come in these individual little Ziploc bags which is great because I find with the Ziploc baggies they can be reused which is great I don't I don't like to you know throw out um, things like this that could be used again um, you know that can be repurposed I like to try and you know reuse them wherever possible oh we have a stray there so the drills are round they 
look really good we must have a, a hole in one of the bags or somewhere because we do have some loose drills here so that's just something to be mindful of but they're labeled really clearly which is great the colors look gorgeous look at these blues and greens that aqua color is beautiful so yeah i do like that they come in the little bags that can be repurposed I do really like that. Yeah, they look good. Whoops. They look really good. Let's just pop those back in there. Okay, I will move this one out the way and we'll have a look at the next one. Okay, so our next diamond painting. Again, please excuse the rustling of the packaging. This one's a bit tricky to get out, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's because the. I don't know if you can see, this is sort of peeled back, so the glue was sticking to the bag. So let's just try and sort that out a second. Okay, so this is another 30 by 40 canvas. This is some bags with pumpkins, and I really liked the beautiful sort of orange and green colours on this. I just thought it was so pretty. So I'll try and zoom out a bit so you can see it a little bit better. I do apologise for the glare. Again, we have a colour palette here at the top on the left and at the bottom on the right, which is really nice. We've got the clear um, paper there over the top. And again, really nice, firm, sticky canvas, which is what we like. canvas is in good condition it feels really nice as well it does feel does feel good so there's the canvas and then again we have our bulk standard green bow there our little square of wax a drill pen and then it looks like we have a couple spare ziplock baggies as well which again if they can't be recycled then you know I like to be able to reuse them where possible and then here we have our drills okay. sorry about the crinkling okay so these come differently to the first set so these come in like the, the strips of bags that have the perforation lines down here. Now, but from experience, I would use scissors to cut it. I wouldn't try and rip it because I've done it before and I've ended up sort of splitting bags and whatnot. So we have our bags here. They're all numbered clearly. There you go. Again, these are round drills. And the colours look beautiful. We have some gorgeous orange colours here. They look absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's like a sunflower colour. 
this look like it's a million. Yeah, they look wonderful, they look great. I'm really excited to get started with these. They look really, really lovely. Okay, so that is our um, the pumpkin patch with the, the gorgeous little birds on there as well. So I will move this one out the way and we'll have a look at the third one. Okay, and then the third diamond painting that we have is Oh, I remember this one. This is beautiful bathroom look at that how gorgeous now that is my idea of bliss beautiful big roll top bath fresh flowers how wonderful that just looks fantastic so again this is a 30 by 40 and we have our key here at the top on the left and the bottom on the right the printing on the canvas is really good. The symbols are very clear. And I did forget to note that that is the same on the other canvases that I have shown as well. I apologise. I forgot to hold the canvas up for those. But yeah, really, really nicely printed. The glue is really strong as with the other two and I just think the design is absolutely stunning so pretty really feminine and I just think this will look so pretty once it's done and framed so yeah this might be the first one that I work on I think from this company because that is so lovely so there is our canvas and then as per the other kits, we have the standard green boat with the square of wax and the drill pen. There's no spare baggies in this one. And as per the kit that I have just shown you, the drills come in these, these bags that are all attached um, and they're perforated at the seams. Oh, we have a runaway. So they are labelled. Have our numbers there. I don't know if you can see because of the light coming in. There you go. Printed really nice and clear. So you can see the number there of each bag. These are round drills. couple in here that they look a little bit smaller but we'll see when it comes to using them but there's some really really lovely colours I really like these pink and peach colours oh got a little stowaway in there with the peach ones but that's fine we can grab him with the tweezers once we're kitting up so that is that kit and I, like I said I just think that this design is so beautiful I think that's really really pretty well, so far I'm really impressed with the look of the diamond painting kits they look fantastic um, like I said, there's a few here, it was in the red colour, where a couple of the drills looked smaller than the others. But like I said, we'll see when it comes to kitting that up. But yeah, I'm really impressed.
impressed with the kits so far so let me move these out of the way and then we will take a look at the two cross stitch kits that we have i will be right back okay so next i have the first of two cross stitch kits to show you this is the first one remove everything from the back okay so here we have our instructions printed on a big fold out like this now as you can see the design is the shape of a certain mouse's head um but here it just looks like little sort of i don't know little chibi kind of style disney characters i just thought it was really really cute now i will be honest i have um cross stitched in the past i used to absolutely love it and i used to spend quite a lot of my time um especially when i was on maternity leave um sort of cross stitching and whatnot but i have never done a kit like this so i really need to maybe look at some cross stitching videos because i've never had a grid sort of set out like this before with the colors so i'm a little bit nervous um but i'm excited at the same time i just don't want to mess it up because i thought this is such a beautiful design uh, it is a 40 by 45 centimeter canvas this is printed on it feels like um i don't know like a really sort of soft matte paper but then it's glossy and smooth on the back it's, it's really unusual but um yes yeah, as so long as it serves a purpose there is instructions here printed quite small um and i've read them but i yeah i, I need to have a look um anyway we have our color key here with our codes and all that good stuff Then we have our canvas. Now I'm not sure what count Ada this is, but it is super, super thick. It feels like a really heavy canvas. And as you can see, there is a lot of it. It looks it looks bigger than the 14 count Ada that I'm used to. But again, I'm just, I'm not sure. It has been stitched at the edges to avoid any fraying, which I love. I really do appreciate that because that is something I did used to struggle with in the past. In here, we have all of our threads. And look at these colours. And there is a lot of them. So we have two cards here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to make right pigsy with this, aren't I? So we have the two cards here with our threads on. So we have this one. So I really like that they are, you know, tied on there for us. So that saves a job as well. So I'm really impressed. The card is, is you know, it, it does the job. It, it does the job. So there is that one. And then we have this one. <laughs> oh, gosh. So again, this one has already been threaded there with the with the thread for us which is great it's just it's set up 
beautifully. I'm really, I'm genuinely impressed because all the cross stitch kits I have had in the past, every single one of them, they did not come already sort of set up on the board like that. So that is wonderful. Um, and I'm sure I have mentioned in previous videos that cross stitching was something that I did want to get back into. But it might be a hobby that it, it takes me longer because of my arthritis in my hands. It is something that is definitely going to be a slow process. But I really did want to get back into it. And then we have some threads here. Now, I am assuming that the blue is for the background. I mean, yeah, on here, all the background is blue. So I'm assuming that this is for the background. But it's all sort of, you know, just it's done really nicely. None of it is tangled together, which is fabulous. This one's coming a bit loose, but you know, it's not it's not an issue. And again, it, are they called skeins of thread or skines of thread? I I don't know how to pronounce it. But um yeah, these are all set up beautifully as well. They have the colour code there on them and the barcode. So I think this is a wonderful, wonderful kit. I just need to figure out how to follow the coloured pattern because I've never had that before and then we get a little baggie again this is a ziplock baggie so reusable and then inside we get a few little things here now I don't know if this is supposed to be like a like a thimble or something this little sort of textured metal hoop if you you know if you're stitching maybe put it on your finger and adjust it and i, I don't know i don't know let me know <laughs> um this again i've seen them but i don't know what they're used for i never used anything like this in cross stitching but it looks like something you would maybe like unpick the thread with maybe um but that is in there so that's really handy it's all sealed which is great um and this would make it really portable as well i have no idea what this is you know i was never sort of uh you know like an expert or super experienced in cross stitching it was just something i did as a hobby um and I, I done a few cross stitch kits for my babies. Um, yeah, I have no idea what that is. So if you know, please let me know because I'd be really interested to find out. I think this is what you wrap thread around, I believe. Because I did used to have things like this, but mine were cardboard and I kept them in like a plastic um just like a plastic container. Kind of similar to this, but it had sort of the smaller compartments and I used to keep my threads in that but again that was many many moons ago when I was a lot younger <laughs> oh the days um so we have that but this is made out of plastic so it's a lot more durable and then we just have a little pom-pom here with our um stitching needles there through them and we have four four needles here um, they seem quite small compared to the ones I've used in the past. But what I like is that the eye of the needle is really quite deep. It goes down quite a ways. So that's really handy. Um, and yeah, it's a good idea sort of keeping them in a little pom-pom. Um, but I will keep all of these bits and bobs in this Ziploc baggie just to keep them, you know, contained. They're all in one place. So, yeah, there is that kit. And then I have one more to show you. So let me move this out of the way, get this bagged back up and I will be right back.
Okay, my loves, and then the last cross stitch kit I would like to show you from Everyday Deals is this one. And I just thought this was so adorable. Um, and I chose this one as well because it looks, to me, it looks quite simplistic. So I thought to get back into cross stitch, this would probably be, you know, a really good place to start. I didn't want the really super basic ones, the small ones, um, because I'm kind of, I feel like I'm past that level but like I said earlier it has been a long time um, so I thought this would probably be a good start before the um, the sort of chibi Disney kind of themed one so this one is called Magic Cottage Spring um, it says down here Ecology Cotton Floss it is a 26 by 26 centimetre and on a 14 count canvas. Pre-printed fabric and dispensable chart reading. Contains cotton fabric, cotton thread, needle and instructions. Comes in this really nice bag. So let's... Okay, this is really nice and again... This bag could be reused as well. I've got the, you know, the really nice sort of Ziploc lid there. So let's have a look. Okay, so we have our instructions here printed on the back of the bag. So that's really handy. So for the 14 count canvas, we use two strands to stitch. So, and then we've got an embroidery description down here at the bottom. So all really, really useful information. And then obviously here was the picture. And then if we open it out, so just print it on the... Okay, so we have part of the image printed here. Now, this is kind of what I'm used to. I'm still not used to having the colours behind the, the numbers, letters and symbols, but I, I, can, I can work with this. Um, but what I would have liked is for the other half of the design, this part here, um, to have it so that you could see the whole design so have a piece of paper like this but so that it sort of it folds out so you could sort of see like the whole design rather than having that there and then you have to turn the page over so I'm not yeah I'm not really a fan of that but it's you know it's workable it's fine um, so we have our colour key down here um, and then the symbols there for the back stitching which is of course all these lines here so we have the red the yellow there's like a tan orange color and then we have blue as well but it's such a pretty design I really do like it here is our canvas okay um i've never had a canvas like this before um so it's got the it's got the colors printed on it and then we have numbers here i don't know if you can see sort of like there we have like 35 42 20 um okay this is all new to me I, I, I thought this one would be a good one to start because it was a simple design um okay so I guess we'll see when we start printing um when we start printing oh my gosh when we start um, okay so we have our two cards here they're stapled together um, and then we have our thread 
so again I like that it is already sort of put on the the boards for us with the corresponding numbers so that's great and again like the other kit it is not tangled which is lovely so we have that one and then this is our do you know I'm just gonna let me separate them okay so we have a little baggie here with two needles in and then this is our second board here and again it's all sort of the threads are already organized which is lovely i really do like that i think that is a really really nice touch but i'm don't get me wrong the canvas is a beautiful again you know really nice and thick it feels like a good quality and it's stitched around the edges to avoid the fraying but I don't like the fact that we've got the graph sort of printed on it with these blue lines um, I, I don't know I mean maybe I could buy some white thread or like a super super pale blue to do like a sky or something to cover it over but even then I would need to find a way like to either cut or maybe get a frame that has like the cardboard edging to, to cover this I've never seen a canvas like that before I can work with this but these grid lines, yeah, that really lets it down in my opinion. But it's, you know, it's a pretty design. I'm just, I don't understand that. Um, if you cross stitch and you've had a canvas like that before, how, how did you work around it? What, what did you do to sort of, you know, figure that out? Um, because I... Ugh, yeah that's uh that is all new to me so i'm gonna put this back in the bag and then we will have a quick chat okay my loves so i really hope that you have enjoyed my review and unboxing and sort of showing you these products which again i was really kindly sent by the lovely Bella at Everyday Deals. As I mentioned earlier, I will leave the website link down below in the video description for you. Um, overall, I am really impressed. I love the products I chose. I'm really, really happy with them. The diamond paintings, I'm so looking forward to starting and especially the cross stitching as well. Um, I just need to figure out this one um that has sort of baffled me a little bit and also as i mentioned i'm i'm kind of disappointed with this one i had such high hopes but seeing that grid printing with the blue the blue is already printed on the canvas so having that sort of grid printed where you would see that then in the background i just i can't wrap my head around it i don't understand because that is in my opinion really going to kind of distract and take away from the design so i may need to get some thread um, and see if i can cover that up um, but overall i'm really really pleased i think they are lovely lovely quality and if you look on their website they are so reasonably priced so i would definitely recommend that you guys check out everyday deals again a great big thank you to bella and a great big thank you to you guys for watching and taking the time i really hope you have enjoyed this video have a wonderful rest of your day take care stay safe and i will see you in the next one lots of love Bye.